video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my protein pudding recipe and I'm going to make it into three different types. Now to get started because many of you guys have requested this video and have admired my protein puddings in the past and I haven't really shared the recipe in detail but today's the day. Um, just to get started this is the main ingredient of my protein puddings and it is the one that is going to make it thick and how it is structured. So it's called agar agar, it's the equivalent to gelatin, however this is vegan, it doesn't use animal products. And I just bought it from Amazon, so I'll leave that in the description box down below. And then the second main component, and I'll talk you through step by step for each one what will be consisting of each pudding, but the second main component is protein powder. Um, I, you, you can't really substitute it for anything else, I know a lot of people will ask that, but I will just share with you guys my top two protein powders that I'm going to be using in these recipes and my current faves. So the first one is the salted caramel soy protein isolate from My Vegan, and I have it in the 2.5kg bag because it is my favourite, it's the top dog. And then the second is the chocolate salted caramel vegan protein blend, are we shocked? salted caramel but the chocolate blend version this is also my current favorite i think it is limited edition so i don't know if they have it on their site still um tendency with my vegan is that when it says limited edition and um, they just want to trial it out see if it works see if people like it and then um they make it into the main um protein powder so hopefully it will still be on site because this is my current fave as well as the salted caramel soy ice protein powder so it is a Sunday today, so all I'm going to do today is actually prep the puddings because they need prep. Um, you have to really make them the night before um, so that they can firm up well. Or you can give it just around like two to three hours, however I want these for my breakfast for the other days that I'm going to make them for. So I'm just going to show you how to prep the three different types of puddings today and then for each day Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I'll show you what I'm gonna add with the toppings so we're gonna start out by making the cookie monster pudding and all you'll need is some unsweetened almond milk or a plant milk of your choice some protein powder and then I use this blue ocean blend spirulina um, from a company called unicorn superfoods and guys this blend is absolutely incredible just because of the cinnamon content in it I highly recommend checking them out then I whisked all of the ingredients together to dissolve all the bumps. And then I poured in the agar agar and you quickly want to stir this so that the bumps don't remain bumpy and make sure that it's all smooth. Then you just want to pour it into a clear bowl or a bowl of your choice, which you want to form the mold in. And then you just want to pop that in the fridge overnight. And then I moved on to making a Biscoff, of course, protein pudding. And then again, I used some almond milk, some salted caramel vegan protein powder, because it's my favorite, and then a Speculoos spice mix, which is absolutely incredible. I whisked that all together once again. And then again, I added the agar agar. Next up, I decided to make a chocolate classic protein pudding. Again, I used the almond milk, chocolate vegan protein powder this time with a tablespoon of cacao powder. These protein puddings are super easy to make, as you can see, and you can make them in many ways. So you can just choose how you'd like to make them. I'm just showing you three options today. When the mixture starts to bubble, you want to add the agar agar, pour it into the bowl once again and then pop it into the fridge, ready for the following day or the several few days after to decorate. So 
So I started out with the cookie monster pudding and I made a cookie dough out of oats, coconut flour, some tahini, as well as some applesauce. And then I added some syrup to that and mixed it all together. I added some chocolate chips. I used the dark chocolate chips from Koro, mixed it all together and started to form cookie dough balls. Alternatively, you can just crumble this on top of the pudding or just eat it how it is. I took the pudding out the next day, placed it onto a plate and then topped with the cookie dough. Now we're moving on to the Biscoff protein pudding, which am I right in saying it's always so, 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 so satisfying opening a new fresh jar of spread. I just want to eat it by the tablespoon, you know? <laughs> so I placed that tablespoon on top of my protein speculoos flavored pudding, and then I topped it with some crumbled and crushed up Biscoff biscuits. And then finally placed one on top as well. Next up is the chocolate protein pudding. So I took it out of the fridge overnight again, placed it onto a plate. It should just fall onto the plate if it was made correctly. And then I started to decorate it, which I just added this vegan whipped coconut cream with a sprinkle of cacao powder for extraness. And then of course we started with the chocolate pour. Absolutely love 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 making these puddings and I highly recommend you guys trying them out They're super delicious super high in protein and super easy to make Thank you for watching this video guys. I know we had a bit of a glow up near to the end of this video This is actually my natural hair Hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of it on my channel as I've been hiding it away but if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you try any of the recipes. I'd love, love, love to see it. Thanks so much for watching again, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.